Hey, so I've been learning a lot and I decided I would relay some of that message to you. So today we are talking about my number one piece of advice for aspiring filmmakers. I'm assuming you're working in freelance <laughs> because aren't we all? So freelance, you are the one in charge of scheduling when you're going to work and when you're going to be working on projects. Now, you can go and film every single day of the week, but what you probably can't do, not when you're starting off, is edit those videos. So if you're filming for five hours, you can't come home and edit for five hours if you have a day job. It's just, it's impossible to film every single day of the week and put out that content as fast as you're getting new clients. What I'm trying to say here is don't overbook yourself. Believe me, I'm I'm going, I'm learning, I'm going through this right now. Don't overbook yourself. You're gonna run yourself into a hole very quickly. You may think that you can turn out four videos a week, but if you have that day job, then it just, it might not be a real possibility. If you're only filming, then yeah, you can go and film every single day, but if you're also the one in charge of editing and putting out that video, then it's just, you might not be able to do it. So my number one piece of advice, don't overbook yourself. Know your limits. When you're first starting off as a freelance videographer, filmmaker, whatever you wanna call it, just do a little bit less than what you would anticipate. If you're thinking of picking up three jobs a week, then just start off with two. Start off with one. See how it goes, see how fast you're able to put out that content and give it to your clients. That way you'll know your pace and what you're able to handle. If you are able to handle that three videos a week, then stick to the three videos a week. But just know your limits, know what you're actually able to handle. Don't overbook yourself. Don't put out these promises to your clients that you won't be able to fulfill because it's better to have a good working relationship with these people than to not be able to go on your word and put out the work that you say that you're gonna put out by the time you say that you're gonna put it out. You can very easily get yourself into a hole, especially if you're continuing to book these projects from there on forward. If you have three or four projects and you can only put out one or two of them a week, but you're still trying to get work every single week, then you can see how suddenly you're just, you're all backed up and that just multiplies and you, you won't be able to keep up with it. So just start off small, le learn your actual, actual capabilities on how fast you're able to turn around these projects and then go from there. I am trying to learn this myself. I'm struggling with it. I'm right in this boat with you guys too. I've just started trying to push out my video work. So I'm gonna take you guys along that road with me with stuff like this. So whenever I learn something, you better believe you guys are gonna be learning that thing too. And this is by far the first lesson that I have learned. With that being said, that has been today's video. Nice, quick, and simple. Just a really good piece of advice and something to keep in the back of your head when you're looking to get these clients. Now, as far as my actual channel goes, I think I'm gonna switch it to one video a week. I don't wanna overbook myself, but at the same time, I wanna provide quality content. I don't wanna rush through these videos just because I have to make two videos a week. I wanna put out videos that I actually like and that I care about. So I don't know which day exactly I'm gonna be posting. Might be Saturday, who knows? But just know that I'm probably gonna be posting one video a week until I can get some more time. Hopefully you guys understand and hopefully I can actually produce that good content that makes this all worth it. That is all that I have for you guys today. Um, who knows, maybe we'll be vlogging next week or something. Uh, it'd be very nice to take you guys on one of my sets or whatever it is that I'm, I'm trying to do. That was a terrible sentence. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want more tips. I'm always trying to provide any knowledge that I have onto you guys. So that's what you'll be subscribing for and coming back for. And that is all that I have for you today. So as always, yeah, okay, okay. Thank you.